Next guest is a very talented actor whose film credits include on Golden Pond, 9 to 5, and Tootsie, and Thursday nights at 9.30 on NBC and Buffalo Bill. Uh, that earned him six Emmy nominations last year, including his for Best Actor. Would you welcome Dabney Coleman? <laughs> Seems to be a marathon of pieces, pieces of business. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> well, how, yes, sir. Isn't it funny how it's catching? How people it's start. Catching. People start to act silly. And how it's, it's caught on after that monologue, you mean? Yes. <laughs> you said Mondale was out here. I was beginning to think maybe he wrote that that monologue. Is that yeah, the, that bad, huh? Yeah, as bad as that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> how you been? Good. Good. Is Buffalo Bill going to stay on? I read various things. Well, the uh, there was a wonderful column by uh, I don't know who the gentleman was in the L.A. Times today, and there seemed to be some. Well, it's going off because we finished our season. We shot 13 shows starting last uh, uh, the, uh, last October, and it will go off at least until June at that time. Between now and then, they'll decide where, whether it comes back or not. Well, I hope it so does. So we don't know at this point. Yeah, it's good. But, uh, now, I noticed you're wearing... Well, that's just a little honor, but I don't like to talk about it. So. <laughs> I looked down and I saw this, and I saw... back some memories, some things that... Uh, Pretty cruel, and uh, things I'd, I'd like to forget. I suppose in the, yeah. in the battlefields, I suppose, yeah. all overseas. Well, yeah. yeah, we don't like to remember some of those God tragic God. moments. What a sneak! <laughs> Going to upstage your Legion of Honor award. <laughs> He's doing a hell of a job. Yes, isn't he? Though? <laughs> He's got a thicker ribbon, I'll tell you. That. Yeah. <laughs> he got, this was a makeshift quickie. You understand well, that? You, they, they make them thicker when you get three. <laughs> they're, they're all sewn together. Yeah. You I got a lot say, of them. I understand you get a quilt. I mean, yeah. you make a whole, whole quilt. <laughs> I got to say what, uh, what, a, what an honor it is to be on here with this man here and uh, I thought to see him say me. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> to see him operating and, and, uh, and going like the old Jerry is really enlightening and, and wonderful to see you doing it again, man. Thank you, really. man. Thank you look great. You look great. I feel like I don't Bob look. Hope all of a sudden, like yes. the elder statesman. I'm... What do you mean? No, you're not that old. Yeah. Uh, you, I'm not you? as old as you. That's true. But, uh, <laughs> but that, that, that could mean still that I'm I'm pretty old. Two, two. Real endearing quality about you. I mean, yeah. um, when you were when you were a kid, from all those years ago. Uh, <laughs> Who did you like in the movies? Do you have any? Do you have any heroes? I like Frederick March, and uh, and uh, I think uh, Humphrey Bogart was a, was a big uh, yeah. was a big fan of his. Yeah. Did you go to which is an interesting story? I think, and that story is over. Well, so we can now move on. Is to... there an interesting story connected with that? Or no, not at all. Oh, I, I just I was I, hoping I, there was. No, not, not even close. More interesting stories we tell on the show, the better is the Jerry audience still seems to like it. Yes, yeah. Jerry's is he? dozing Is off. he looking this way? Yes. <laughs> Why Humphrey Bogart? I don't know. Why uh, Frederick Marx? Underdog. Why anything? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> Why anything? I, I like the underdog. And, and uh, Humphrey Bogart and Jimmy Cagney, those little guys, always played uh, the underdog. Right. I was about this tall until I went to college. Yeah. And, uh, you didn't do... Somebody told me you didn't do small. well in college. I did okay. Who's laughing over there? Who is? <laughs> <laughs> no, that you uh, couldn't be listening to this. You were not. What was it? You were voted. I don't know how you can put this. Somebody told me, but you can't put it that indelicately and, and on television. GMI. I'm you went to GMI. You I told him. I'm, I let him take it. Yeah. Yeah. The. Um, you were voted the, the most the, unlikely or the, the meanest. The biggest or? of the week for eleven weeks. Why in was it? I was. Uh, <laughs> Curiously, I was not as nice a guy then as I am now. Oh. Or as charming. But they, they, um, I was real sadistic with the, with the rats. We call the freshmen the rats. Right. This is Virginia Military Institute, which is a great West Point of the South, we like to think of it as. And I was, I was very sadistic with the, with the rats there for some reason. I think for, for identity yeah. purposes or something. I think it was rather sick. Uh, if I remember your father was a part, military man. Uh, a lot of my people and my, and my family were. My, my cousin was eventually the commandant there, Glover Johns, and uh, we all went to VMI, all five of us. Yeah. Is that good discipline for a young man? 
I don't know. I went to hell after that. I can tell you that. I mean, you don't have much option but to be disciplined while you're at BMI. And then when I went to University of Texas, everything just went right down the, right down the tubes after that. So I don't know. It's, it's a subjective thing. But you will be disciplined at BMI. That's for sure. That's what yeah. I hear. Yeah. We, Freddie, is, is, that's, a, that's a cue, is it, Fred? Or are you just uh, getting a little senile? <laughs> Freddie sometimes late at night just points at his hand yeah. and you know. <laughs> and well, you make a little circle sometimes. And I really don't know what that means. Oh, we have a film clip from Buffalo Bill. You play a talk show uh, host on here. Mm -hmm. Do you pattern that after anybody? Uh. I mean, I just. Kind of an irascible. No, uh, no, I don't. He is irascible and he is a jerk and. Uh, so it's a stretch for me, but but I don't. Uh, I, don't I don't really go for anybody. Uh, this particular scene, though, that you're going to see is uh, Bill and his wife going to see uh, his uh, daughter and son, uh, who no, actually are played by not, by me and and my that's leading the, lady. That's not the clip. That isn't it. <laughs> well, that was Jerry's. That was Jerry's. Oh, that was yours. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I'm sitting here and I don't even know what the hell he's talking about. He, he sucked me in. I'm sitting here. Yeah, you were the gee, that sounds the familiar. Like yeah, I was interested in a guy introducing somebody that I saw that already here. This is a clip uh, of a man, of uh, Bill, introducing himself to a Brazilian actress who oh, he's been enamored with for some time. And I, after that, I don't really. Okay, here's a clip of Buffalo. Oh, look. Santa ah. Claus. Yeah, yeah. You wear this on today's show. No, 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 no. This is oh. this is much too too big for me. Oh, you must wear it. You no. look wonderful. <laughs> no, 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 really, you. really, no, no. Why not? Let's just just say it's it's against my religion. You're Jewish. <laughs> you like Jewish men? And they all have money, no? Most of us do, yeah. <laughs> You're cute as Dickens, you know that. You'd be cute as the Dickens if you wear this. Oh, bro, no, really, really, no. Come oh, on. please. I would owe you one if you wear it. You'd owe me one? Oof, I like the sound of that. One might be enough. To... Mm -hmm. How's about we get together right after the show today? Ah, uh, today? Hmm. How's about we get to together tomorrow? I'm leaving tomorrow. Well, if you're ever in Brazil. Well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, today? Did you say today? Because today is perfect. If, if we could do it today. Oh, perfecto bende. It's good for you? Oh. Oh, okay, let's do that. Then. Oh, oh, and remember, now, if, if I wear the suit, you you owe me one, right? Maritza never goes back on her word. Uh, that's an admirable quality in any land. Today is perfect. Perfecto Take a break. We'll be right back.